Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here, hi my name is Miss Cece. So today I created a matte mannequin look for the holidays. I know for Christmas we do not want to be worrying about how our makeup look or if it be getting a little bit out of place or if the makeup slipping. We don't have to worry about touching up. So in this video I will be showing you what I do to prep my skin because I am oily and girl believe me I get oily. Either your combination oily or even dry skin on how to get a matte mannequin look that will stay all day long. Just keep on watching. So guys, this will be a talk through because Georgia is having a game at the Superdome and it's a lot going on outside. So um, we don't need any distractions. But anyway, first thing first, we do want to prep our skin in the morning. We want to cleanse our skin with any of our cleansers that we have, but we don't want to use over pride of a skin cleanser okay because we do not want to dry out our skin i do love the clinique skincare now any skincare that you would like to use especially if it has moisture in it spf inside of it please bring them out but these are some skincare products that i make sure i use every day i will put them down below if you are interested the moisture surge by clinique the dramatically jelly by clinique all hold their consistency they melt into the skin so perfectly to where it does not stick it does not leave any sticky residue it does not leave any white cast y'all it goes good with any primers whether they're mattifying or hydrating now these are some of the inexpensive brands that i like to use wet and wild cover girl master prime by maybelline some of their matte primers i gravitate more towards the master prime by maybelline because i know it sits very well on top of my textured skin and the l'oreal infallible matte lock primer now this mattifying primer is bomb with any hydrating primer or any hydrating serums that you put on top of your face these are the more expensive brands, the Becca, the Fenty Beauty, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and the Frisali Skin 2 Blur. These are all great mattifying primers as well. The Skin 2 Blur to me gives out a semi-matte, but not actually a matte matte. I will be using the Lancome. I'm going to apply that first because I want to make sure I have a primer and SPF in one. Since my moisturizers didn't have an SPF, I am going to be using this one, and it's a nice primer with SPF 50. Y'all, please get into SPF, regardless if it's the sun out, if it's not out, it does not matter. If you're going outside, apply SPF. It's imperative that we use SPF regardless because we want our skin to look youthful. And y'all, believe me, it'll pay off. So using the L'Oreal primer right on top of it, I love the combination of those two. Even though that is an expensive brand with an inexpensive brand, if you use it correctly and prep your skin correctly, guys, these two combinations will last you all day long, okay? The mattifying primer for L'Oreal, I love to pack that into the skin as well, just to make sure everything is in place. So we are gonna to gravitate towards a more full coverage foundation today. I am gonna be using a Becca 24 hour more full coverage foundation. This is in the shade Amber. Y'all, it is a very thick consistency. I have used this on my channel before, so make sure you check out my playlist. I like to use a flat synthetic foundation brush to distribute the product everywhere. Now, this Becca foundation is so thick, I like to go ahead and pat up under my eyes first to give it a little bit of coverage. Y'all, get into this. This is like the best thing to do. Actually using the foundation brush gives you a little bit more precision around the brows because if you're like me, you like to do your brows first, guys y'all this is this will probably be your best friend or best thing to do blending that out with a damp beauty sponge after it guys it just leaves the perfect blend it looks so flawless it you don't see much texture it gives out more coverage it, if you oily like me it's just perfect and at the end of the day after the hours you know how sometimes you can see that the foundation or powders is like kind of dissolving away or moving y'all it does not leave me cakey i don't feel like it's any buildup. i don't feel like my oils is going to separate the foundations or anything on my face i just feel like i can go on the day with a flawless canvas so i am going to be using two concealers today i'm using a tart shape tape and the backward aqua luminous concealer guys i love to use this backward aqua luminous concealer if i could talk today for the hydrating under the eyes because i am going a little matte today that becca just going to give a little bit of more moisture under there because it is a little luminous and it's more gravitated to the hydrating 
This heart shape tape to me is a more mattifying semi-matte concealer. So yeah, this is perfect. Now this is not a stranger to my channel. This is the NYX Sculpt Down Highlight Contour Duo. Oh my goodness, would you just get into the shade? It leaves out the perfect orange brown contour for my tan skin. Y'all, if you are my complexion a little deeper or a little lighter, I advise you and I recommend you to get these right here. The duos are so inexpensive and they last so good throughout the day. Creamy, but when they dry down, they dry down matte and they're not bulging. I mean, I don't have to worry about my contour dissolving away like most contour do. Like at the end of the day, when you bronze up your skin, you don't see some of it because the product is just like gone. But this, y'all, is perfect. I like to pat that in first before I blend it because it, I think it just it just gives out a best the best blend once I pat it in first. You know, it kind of like seals the contour deal. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's so it's just a great product. I mean, I, I cannot rave about this product enough. And I use it so much in my tutorials. Guys, you have to check out my playlist. I mean, would you look at it? God, I have my face looking so sculpted. Ugh. Now, blending that contour with my concealer, it just looks so seamless. I mean, I like to blend my contour first before I blend out the concealer. Now, I'm doing both eyes back and forth just to make sure that the product is distributed perfectly on both eyes because i found when you're going for a more matte look you know i feel like um if the product is not distributed on both sides of your face it's noticeable so i go back and forth with both of my eyes my forehead my nose area using the butt of that um beauty blender hey it's just melting into the skin perfectly and it's just giving out the perfect blend you know just utilizing my tools i i just think that a mannequin to me is like a perfect set of figure. You know, it's, it's just a perfect figure. So when I utilize the butt of the sponge, y'all, it just it just leave a seamless blend. Now this is the Makeup Forever. This is their powder. This is 173. I don't know if it's discontinued. If it is, guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I like to go ahead and start the setting process first by using a more fluffy brush. And pat the powder up under my eyes, you know, just so we can eliminate the creasing, any of um dissolving of the concealer that we put down first. Anywhere that we put the concealer, I like to go ahead and start the setting process. And then we'll go into the loose setting powders. Now, this is from Maybelline. This is their um, medium to deep setting powder, loose setting powder. I want to go ahead and start the baking process. Now this is going to help decreasing up on the eyes. Not going to add so much of brightness, but it's going to help decreasing up under the eyes. Now setting it with a loose setting powder next. Oh my gosh, I, I I can't explain how flawless and smooth the under eyes look. You know, I mean, I don't hardly bake, but I love it. Okay. <laughs> So I'm not cream contouring my nose. Um, I'm just actually going to just dust away the powders like as if I did contour my nose just to put the shape back into the nose. And I'm going to pat that powder in to mattify the cheek areas. Now, this is optional. I'm going to be using a whole lot of powders in this tutorial. Very optional. You do not have to pat that in. You can actually use that same fluffy brush. Take away the bake. But I'm patting it in because, guys, when you see a mannequin, their face looks so glass. It looks so still. And it, it, it just, it looks flawless. It looks so smooth. So patting that back in is just going to help the process. So now let's go ahead and bronze up the face. I'm going to set that contour because we did not set the entire face. I'm going to pat the bronzer on top of that first. So anything will not budge up under those powders. Y'all, patting your bronzer on top of your cream contour would just seal the deal. Especially, like I said, if you didn't go ahead and set the rest of your face, it is imperative that you do that first 
by patting the product on top of it because it is a liquid. Come on now, if you're putting a powder on top of a liquid, please make sure that you pat it on first and then buff it away. That just eliminate all of the bulging that you're gonna have. It adds a little bit more coverage and it just looks better like that. So go ahead and brighten up the under eye area. This is in the shade Medium in my Milani uh, Concealer Perfect. Y'all guys know if you've been following me for a while, I love the powders. Ugh, look how pretty. It just gives out the perfect highlighted under eye area. But when I look at a mannequin, I just see nothing but death. You know, in the eyes, in the cheeks, chin, the jawline, nothing but death, like shadow. Now I want to go ahead and mesh all of the powders together by using my Sephora Micro Smooth. Y'all, I love this powder. It is perfect for setting the face. I love the shades. Y'all get into it for 2020. I am going to use a little bit more of contour just to bring a little depth into the hollow points of my cheek areas. I love this powder. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know how I feel about this Black Radiance powder. It is so pretty. Y'all, I cannot explain. It's much as I love this powder, just look at it. It just adds the perfect depth, the perfect contour shade. So good. I'm so glad they, um, you know, made more shades. It's it's just perfect. I love it. Blush. Now, any mannequin that you see, they do have rosy cheeks. I mean, the perfect mannequin does have the rosy cheeks in my eyes. So, guys, get with the blush. I <laughs> mean, look at it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Now let's saturate all of these powders, y'all. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Set Spray. Oh my goodness. Talking about long lasting. So great. Look at it. Look how I just make oh, the powders is so good right now. I, I could just look at my skin all day. It just looks so pretty. So let's set the brows. Any mannequin that have plastered eyebrows, guys, it just it, they just look so flawless. So please set your brows if you're going for this look. Highlight, y'all know how I feel about this Lancome. Look at the glow. Would you just look at the glow? It's so cute. Now, most mannequins that I've seen, they have a little glow about them, but y'all, I couldn't help it. I had to, I had to bring the glow out. I know this was like very, very intriguing that I am using highlight for a matte look. But would you look at it? It makes those cheekbones pop. And a mannequin cheekbone does pop because of the depth. Yeah, I, I, I think I think this was like a must to, to use the highlighter. So I'm gonna do the highlight on all of the areas, the brow bone, cupid's bow, nose, on the temples, high points of the cheekbone areas, and now let's apply the lip. Now when you walk past a mannequin, if the lips isn't popping, if the brows isn't popping, if the nose isn't popping, and if the blush isn't popping, would you buy the clothes? Come on, will that mannequin look enticing? No, ma'am. So look at this red. Get into it, guys. The perfect mannequin look. The only thing I need now is some mascara. Y'all, I'm, I'm through. This is it. I mean, tell me, don't, mom, look at my face. Don't my face look like glass? Like you could just actually break it? Matte to the gods. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Please get into the look. If you have any questions, comments, please make sure you leave them down below. Don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up on this if you do like this tutorial. If there's anything you would like for me to do in upcoming tutorials, please make sure you let me know about that. And I got you, sis. Let's slay for 2020. Let's be the sleigh. Let's be the bells. Let's be the reindeers. Let's be Miss Santa Claus, y'all. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting on? Please make sure you do that. And check out my playlist down below in my previous tutorials for 2019. Thank you so much. Love you guys and see you on my next one. Mwah.